Welcome to another edition of the Turnpike Sports Book Report. I'm Doug Weishettle here with Dave Weishettle. We're here to give you a whip around look at some of the latest news coming out of the sports betting industry. Press releases, info at turnpikesportsradio.com. Keep those coming in. This week, in our state and national reports, we're going to be talking April and May benchmarks, uh, as well as some uh, first quarter of 2024 Massachusetts numbers. So just to be clear, we're all done with March, right? I hope so. Okay. We're all done with March. <laughs> Unless some other <laughs> Everyone, state comes around. As soon so. as Arizona reports, we're all done with March. Pretty much, yes. Okay. Uh, deal segment. They reported last week, by right. the way. Right. Uh, deal segment, we've got another Associated Press deal. Oh, wow. Okay. Uh, TV deal potentially for Fandle at, at press time. Okay. We've got a uh, horse racing deal to talk about. Okay. I had to read that real quick. <laughs> I was, thought I, it was a dramatic pause. No, no, no. No dramatic Next, pause. Next, coming on the book report, <laughs> just horse my, racing. Just my reading skills dipped down horse a little racing. bit there. And then we also have a pair of IC360 deals. Okay. Industry updates, launches, and licensing. And then we're going to finish up with our legislative roundup with news coming out of New York and Illinois. We're going to start talking state and national reports right after this. Interest rates and inflation are out of control. Is your credit card debt also out of control? It's time to resolve your debt and take back control for a lot less than what you owe. If you have $10,000 or more in credit card debt, then you need to call us right now. Debt Fix Pros can significantly reduce the amount you owe, and you could be debt-free faster than you think. I knew we had to do something. Our debt was growing. It was getting out of control, and we just didn't know what to do. We saw an ad for Debt Fix Pros. We called and they showed us how fast they could get us out of debt. It really was amazing. And now we're back in control. Call now and we'll show you how easy it is to fix your debt. The call and consultation are free. Call Debt Fix Pros right now at 800-479-3522. That's 800-479-3522. 800-479-3522. Attention. If you owe back taxes to the IRS, watch this urgent message. The IRS is cracking down by hiring 87,000 new agents to garnish your paycheck and put liens on homes and businesses. They can even seize your bank account. The IRS calls it enforced compliance, and now they have the manpower to get you. Penalties and interest on unpaid taxes compound daily. So call One Stop Tax Relief Shop and get the IRS off your back. They're experts in the Fresh Start Initiative, one of the biggest breaks the IRS has ever offered. And no other tax shop gets you more or faster approvals. One Stop Tax Relief has resolved thousands of cases since 2014 and saved clients millions of dollars. Call now for a free consultation. Connect with tax professionals who get the IRS off your back. Call 800 800-605-0688. 800-605-0688. Welcome back to the Turnpike Sports Book Report. We're going to start off the state and national reports here with the April sports betting report from the state of Ohio. Ohio became the fastest state to $10 billion in total handle. Previous record was held by Arizona, which we just mentioned uh, prior okay. in the yes. uh, opening, who who did it in 20 months. Ohio did it in 16 months. I, I like this. Good. Good for Ohio because they had the best launch of their sports betting industry of all the states because on New Year's Day, it was at 1201 mm -hmm. and on uh, what January 1st in 2023, mm -hmm. they launched. Everyone just- Shotgun launch. Boom. Everyone. I love it. And Love a fun it. time was had the, by all. Yeah, the, the the best way to start. And I'm glad they got the ten billion in uh, in record time. All time mobile handle as well past ten billion dollars, okay. hand in hand basically. All nineteen mobile operators finished with a positive revenue in April, and Prime Sportsbook was the first winning month since the end of last year, last December, for a positive winning month for Prime Sportsbook. Nice, good for Prime. Over in Colorado, we've got the April numbers from that state. The state of Colorado became the sixth state to pass $18 billion in all-time total handle, joining New Jersey, New York, Nevada, Illinois, and Pennsylvania to accomplish that. Okay. Welcome Sta to the club. Exactly. Yeah. State reported its eighth consecutive month of wagering of handle of at least $500 million. And, of course, when we talk Colorado, we have to discuss the table tennis yes, market. Yes, they love their table tennis. 
Table tennis. This month in uh, April, they were the sixth most bet on sport wow. in the state. Really? I know uh, last year they were hovering around six. And then the last couple of months, they were dropping down to eight, nine, ten, something like that. But uh, table tennis making a big, big comeback. What is it? Is there a season for table tennis? There well, must why, be because why, there was what, a lull there for a while. Yeah, because it's it just like there's like a valley and then it peaks now. So uh, table tennis also brought in its second highest handle, thirteen million dollars. Wow. Um, so uh, very good, good, very good month for table tennis. I, I, I know, I know, it's a great number for table tennis because, like I, like we said, Colorado's they love their table tennis. But how does table tennis do in other states? I mean, I, I don't know. Any other figures in any other state for table tennis? Uh, most states don't break it out like that. Oh, okay. Table tennis would fall under the other category. Oh, so okay. When you see other, well, good, you have good to throw for that Colorado in there. for yes. uh, cutting it out. You put really, really highlighting table tennis. Interesting number. Table tennis was two point six percent of the total handle. Usually, it's around one point four, one point five, but this was two point six percent total oh. handle, and all but a hundred eight dollars of it was online. Okay, we've talked about table tennis way too much. We always talk table tennis. There, way there must too be much. a podcast about it or something like that. The I table wonder. Pod? I want, yeah, the, yeah, the ping table pod. pod. Ping pod. Ping pod. <laughs> Big pod. There you yeah, go. Yeah. Okay. There you go. There, there must be some yeah. podcast. So I wonder if they talk about it, really break it down. So I, I got to go searching around for it. Over in Virginia, we have the Commonwealth reporting their April numbers. Virginia became the ninth state to pass sixteen billion dollars in all-time handle in the post pass by era. Only Better and Superbook are the only two books remaining that can t- uh, that can deduct promos and other expenses to uh, for their uh, gross gaming. Yeah, revenue. they ha- they have a certain amount of time where they can do usually. that. Twelve months of operation. After that, yeah, you know, forget it. And here we have <laughs> Massachusetts. Massachusetts had a uh, one of their gaming commissions being was dedicated just to the first quarter twenty twenty four reports by all their sports books. Mm-hmm. Needless to say, DraftKings and FanDuel were head and shoulders above all the other books in the state. Well, we say this all the time. DraftKings has their corporate headquarters in Boston. So, Mm -hmm. you know, it makes sense for them to uh, be right up there, if not the number one. I'm assuming they are the number one in Massachusetts. They are the number one. As a matter of fact, the number one by a good margin. They brought in $91 million in revenue in the state through the first three months of 2024. FanDuel, $54 million. Okay. And then everybody else, BetMGM, Caesars, ESPN, Bet Fanatics, $10 million and under. Uh, They're going to do very, very well uh, pretty soon in Massachusetts because I I want to see the numbers after the NBA finals. And so, you know, they should do very well there. Well, these are April. And since the finals are being held in June, you got another two, three months to wait on that number. I would think they would have numbers out before, you know. Well, it's in did. Boston, for God's sake. The Celtics are playing. They're, I'm sure they're going to put numbers out. I would think a lot of states may do that because yeah. a lot of states do the Super Bowl. They I do mean, March ju- Madness. Yeah, just for the NBA Finals. I wonder. Uh, and then, well, you also have the NHL Finals, too. Cause, yeah, but a Boston team is not in the No, I'm, I'm just NHL saying in terms finals. of you know big events so. here. So there's a lot of wagering yeah. on NHL Finals. A lot of hockey fans up there. Yeah, yeah. But not a lot of national hockey fans up in oh. New England. Uh, over in New York, we're going to finish up with the uh, sports betting report for the state of New York and week ending June second. Mm-hmm. Um, second, the state report second consecutive week of below four hundred million dollar handle. Well, I'm trying to figure out if that's because of both the Knicks and the Rangers dropping out of the playoffs. Um, the Mets are not, aren't doing very well. The Yankees are tearing it up. I'm, you know, I'm, I don't know how much the Yankees can pull these numbers up, but um, I'm, I'm wondering how much that that has to do with everything. Well, I, I wonder how much is being bet against the Mets because they're that bad. Yeah, I mean, they... You would think they, Mets games would bring in a lot of money. They find ways yeah. to lose, so... But this is the fourth consecutive week New York has had a declining uh, weekly handle. Okay. They started four weeks ago at $70 million, went down to 50 plus million, and then the last two have been under uh, 
uh, under under 45, 45 million. It's kind of interesting to see that this is for this is the fourth straight week of at least thirty million, but they are declining little by little. It's the dog days of summer. Yep. You're going to see some decline, especially when you have numbers in the stratosphere like New York had for so, so long. So, you know, something's going to slip, you know, less sports are being played in New York and <laughs> some really bad baseball by the Mets. So that might uh, affect some of the numbers. Uh, fiscal year to date handle passed four and a half billion. The all good. The all time <laughs> mobile handle so. passed 45 billion. See, that, look at that. See? Yeah. And also, See, you know what? Even when we talk about bad numbers for New York, they're not really they're not bad that numbers. bad compared no. to the other. Relatively rest of speaking, they're not bad numbers. Even bad pizza is pretty good. So yes. that's what we're talking about here. So New York, yeah, it's low for New York, but you know, any other state would kill to have these numbers. Some numbers for Fandle. Fandle passed four billion in year to date handle. Mm-hmm. Uh, and also it's 16 consecutive weeks with eight figure revenue, uh, coming in for Fandle itself. Good. All time revenue for Fandle past $1.9 billion. As we say in Massachusetts, DraftKings is the king. It seems like Fandle is the king in New York. However, there has been come a couple of weeks. There was two straight weeks DraftKings led. So that led, that led in the number. So that's it for state national reports. Let's start talking some deals. We're going to start off our deal segment here talking jackpot.com. Ah, I have it. I I play lottery on it. Well, jackpot.com announced it will become the official lottery courier and provider of the nationwide lottery results for the Associated Press. Wow, nice. Uh, You'll see various state lottery results on apnews.com from jackpot.com. Okay. Keep saying .com here. Uh, and uh, AP customers will also be able to subscribe to a lottery results feed. Oh, okay. Yep. I would like that. And also AP uh, customers will be able to buy lottery now will tickets it go- through links on the AP sites. Right. Will the AP do state by state, or is it just doing the national ones, like the Mega Millions and the uh, Powerball? I, I think like whatever that. jackpot.com can offer, they'll put the results right. on for. Okay. No word on exactly how in-depth the results are going to be. Okay. Well, just give me the numbers. Yeah. How, what, how in depth do you need all the games? Results? All the oh, games. Oh, all of them. Well, okay. we don't know because some of the games aren't offered by jackpot.com. Okay. At times, so. All right. Uh, over in the TV side of everything, we have Fandle, according to Bloomberg, coming close, if not already, you know, entered into the deal by this time. Uh, this uh, by the time this airs, naming rights deal with regional sports network provider Diamond Sports. Okay. Replacing Bally's as the lead name on 18 regional pay TV networks. Now, this won't affect me sitting in New Jersey. I watch FanDuel TV all the time and FanDuel Plus or whatever they call it. You know, will this affect me at all? Will I see some of the this games? This has nothing that, to do with FanDuel TV. <laughs> nothing to do. Okay. No, this Just is basically, anytime you saw a Bally Sports Network, okay, so it'll be, the regional TV network, okay. it all will right. be replaced with FanDuel. Okay. Bally's deal with Diamond expires at the end of the current baseball season, so you will see Fandle, if this actually happens, you'll see the Fandle logo replacing Bally's. You'll also see some Fandle program on some of the regional sports oh, network. okay. So people outside of Fandle TV may be watching some of the Fandle program oh, nice. on, okay. the, on the Diamond Sports Network. I got to tell you, it'll be fascinating to see these regional sports networks over the next couple of years, see what happens to them. See, I, we, we, we have a lot of them here in New Jersey. We have one out of Philly. We have a couple out of New York. So uh, it should be interesting to see how uh, this takes shape over the next couple of years. Well, this will give Diamond a really good boost coming out of bankruptcy. Sure, sure, so, absolutely. Uh, it might be a good deal for both on, on mm-hmm. many levels here. Uh, over in the horse racing sector, we've got Betmakers Technology Group announcing a two-market access and content deal with Bet365. Okay. The deals cover both New Jersey and Colorado. Uh, Bet365 will be able to offer fixed odds betting on thoroughbred horse racing in New Jersey. Nice. Okay. Uh, and there will be uh, content as well as... Uh, well, thoroughbred racing content to New Jersey and thoroughbred and harness racing content to Colorado. Nice. Okay. Uh, Colorado Good. doesn't allow fixed odds yet, so it's only just going to be whatever the odds for the, the current situation is. We need more horse racing apps in Jersey. You know, I just, you know, we have tons of online casinos. We have tons of sports books. You know, how about some race books online? Okay. So, uh, that's just my push for it. So. 
And uh, last uh, deals to talk about here, we got a pair of deals from Integrity Compliance 360, the joint venture between Odds on Compliance and uh, what's the other one there? Uh, I'm not saving you. Uh, you're I know not what it is. Me. I know what it is. Go U.S. Ahead. integrity. Yeah. <laughs> U.S. integrity. I'm 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 so, I'm so well, focused I just on. I say IC three sixty now. Well, I'm, I'm so used to saying U.S. integrity now. I'm saying integrity compliance, and the I is sticking in my head more okay. so than anything. But U.S. integrity. Yes. I do apologize to everyone <laughs> over on that side of the joint venture. There, I I'd send a harshly worded email <laughs> to Doug. Well, we have IC360 announcing a partnership with the National Hot Rod Association. Are we having a lot of hot rod deals? What's going on every week now? It, it, all, stems, it, it all stems from NHRA launching the Play NHRA campaign. Oh, okay. I guess that's, you know, the dominoes are falling, huh? Well, they, they did the deal deals. with all sports look at all these data. deals being yep. made. They, they've, had, they've had a lot of deals in place because of this Play NHRA, which will allow their fans to actually participate in sports betting and daily fantasy sports uh, offerings for the the Mission Foods Drag Racing Series. Okay. So it's all related to this Play NHRA uh, okay. site that just launched, and they're going to be doing a whole campaign. The partnership provides the NHRA with uh, gaming integrity monitoring mm -hmm. for all events, including access to Prohibit. Okay. The other deal IC360 was involved in was a partnership with the entire Atlantic Coast Conference. I saw that. I think I liked both of those on LinkedIn. Yes. So. Yes. <laughs> so. So it's a so I'm well aware of those deals. It yes. not only is for the entire conference, but it's also for the individual teams of that conference. Mm -hmm. Basically, both the conference and the teams get the integrity monitoring solutions from IC360, as well as Prohibit. Great. Uh, that's it for our deals this week. Uh, we'll start talking industry updates right after this. Imagine if you lost 20, 30, 40, or even 50 pounds or more right away. Would you be more attractive to the opposite sex? Feel better? Sleep better? If you've tried to lose weight in the past and repeatedly failed, then you need to know about a true game changer medication. Semaglutide is FDA approved. It can produce quick and easy results. Call the number on your screen now for free info. This is the last diet you'll ever go on. Finally lose the weight and keep it off. There's no pain, no surgery, no exercise plan, no starvation, no fasting, no silly meal prep. In fact, you can continue to eat the foods you love. Pause this screen and take down this number or store it in your cell phone. But call today for free information. The Advanced Medical Weight Loss Program is physician-based and works with your body naturally to create the feeling of being full. This is not just about losing weight. This is about what your life can become as a thinner you. Call the number on your screen now for free info. Finally, lose the weight and keep it off. Look great this summer, but hurry. There's a huge demand for this product and shortages may occur at any time. Call the number on your screen now for free information. Welcome back to the Turnpike Sports Book Report. We're going to start off in our own backyard here in the state of New Jersey. Jackpot City is the latest addition to the online casino market in the state of New Jersey. They just launched in partnership with Golden Nugget. Technically, they didn't just launch. They just did it quietly. They launched in March. Okay. Uh, they also launched in, Dece in December of 2023 in the state of Pennsylvania. So why, why didn't they make a big deal of it in March where they just... You know, let's didn't launch, make a big deal of it kinda, in Pennsylvania. Kind of, yeah. Well, why was it just let's launch? If there are any bugs, we'll work them out. This is kind of like their soft launch. Is that what was going on, or why? You know, why didn't they shout it from the rooftops in March when this happened? Um, you got me. Okay. Well, it was I, just quiet marketing launches, people send us some quiet launches in both places. De uh, Pennsylvania, they're partnered with Live Casino in Philly, uh, and in Jersey, it's Golden Nugget. They're one of five skins for Golden Nugget. So, mm -hmm. uh, uh, they had uh, 115,000 in revenue in March and 25,000 in April. 
Can, can, can I just say for the marketing people out there, I think we're okay now with the word and the uh, title of your casino or your, your platform. Jackpot has been used. Stop using jackpot because jackpot.com oh, yeah. launched the lottery thing, mm-hmm. uh, lottery site. Then we have Jack Pocket. They uh, they launched an online casino in New Jersey. Now it's Jackpot City. Yep, we're okay with the word jackpot anymore. Now now let's, oh, you should let's, see overseas. Let's think of some other names. There's even okay? more overseas. It's getting a little confusing now. Okay. Well, speaking of confusing, we're going to unconfuse people by moving to Maryland. Here we've All got right. better announcing that they will be launching soon and become the twelfth online sports book in Maryland. Uh, also coming out of Maryland, we have the Maryland Sports Wagering Application Review Commission, better known as SWARC. Oh, SWARC. Yes. Swark. <laughs> you know, when you spell it out like that, I, I, I've i always heard it SWARC. I, and I'd I rather say it, SWARC, to be honest Swark. with you. That's a yeah. mouthful to say there. SWARC. But uh, yeah. the SWARC has approved applications from Queen Sportsbook and Veterans Service Corp for sports betting licenses. Okay. Queen Sportsbook is... Uh, part of Queen Casino and Entertainment. Uh, They operate two casino resorts in Baton Rouge, Louisiana. They've got a casino in Marquette, Iowa, and a DraftKings-affiliated casino in East St. Louis, Illinois. Hmm. Uh, Veteran Services Corp. was actually associated with Intralot, and now they have moved on from Intralot, and they're working with the British company B. Fee as their sports betting partner. B, the insect, fee as in money. Oh, oh, okay. B. Fee. Fee. That's how it is, yeah. Okay. Yep. Hey, do you think they started off with Swark and let's just fit in the words for that? Or did they, you know, have this long title, hey, let's call ourselves Swark? Yeah, I don't see anyone saying, I want to be called Swark. I don't know. It's that, it it kind of sticks in your head. Uh, Well, yeah, I I know what it is. It's so unusual. You know, if you told me to say it out like you just did, I wouldn't be able to do it. No one wants to say it out like I just did. Swark. That's tiring to say that. Uh, over in North Carolina, we got Two Kings Casino breaking ground on their new uh, casino development site. Um, the first phase will feature a ground floor casino that will be completed by early 2026. That'll include 1,300 slots and table and electronic games, 12 table games, a 40 seat restaurant, and a retail sports book with 30 kiosks. And again, everybody places self service with the <laughs> phrasing kiosks. They're, they're the same thing. Yeah, they're self-service. I don't, I don't, I don't know yeah. why they keep saying self-service kiosks. Yeah, and then the second phase will put a 400-room hotel on top of the casino, and there you'll have up to 4,300 slot machines, 100 table games as well, uh, five restaurants, six bars, a players' lounge. Once it's all said and done, hmm. and the uh, Native American tribe, the Catawbas, also applied for an online North Carolina sports betting license, but have yet to have a partner. So they have not done anything. Oh, yeah, wait. That. North Carolina is a state where you have to ha- partner with a yes. sports yep. uh, organization or league. You just or have to have a, like. a physical partner kind of thing, a, an actual uh, but, event, a major league team or something yeah, like that. Okay. Yeah, okay. All right. Yeah. Over in Illinois, we have the Illinois yeah. Gaming Control Board or Illinois Gaming Board, as they're also called. Uh, doing the first set of renewals for retail sports betting since the industry launched back in March of 2020. Seven retail sportsbook licenses were were renewed. Mm -hmm. We've got the Argosy Casino Alton, DraftKings at Casino Queen in East St. Louis, which is what we just talked about in the previous story with uh, Queen Sportsbook. Uh, We've got Grand Victoria Casino in Elgin, Hollywood Casino Aurora, Hollywood Casino Joliet, Rivers Casino in De Plain and Paradise Hotel Casino in East Peoria all had their retail licenses renewed. How much do you have to pay for that? A lot. A lot. Yes. <laughs> A lot. Uh, just so you know, retail sports betting in uh, the state of Illinois has generated $1.12 billion in total handle since they launched back in March of 2020. Nice. Uh, that's it for the industry updates. We're going to finish up with our legislative roundup. Starting off our legislative roundup, we're in the state of New York right now for the first one. We've got the New York State Senate passing Senate Senator Leroy's Com- Senator Leroy Comrie's. Oh boy, that's hard to say right there. 
uh, bill by a vote of 57 to nothing to require all sports betting and gambling advertisements to include language warning about the potential harmful and addictive effects of gambling. The bill now heads to the House. Uh, the advertisements under the bill would be would be required to say or would be required to include warnings of potential harmful and addictive effects of gambling and also include the state problem gambling hotline number. Good. Okay. Uh, what, what do they have now? I don't know what they have now. I don't think they I've don't heard. have this. <laughs> really? I, yeah. I mean, I, I've read a lot of commercials for a lot of sports. Uh, a, a lot of the a lot of the online I've, sports I've books always, have that re- uh, yeah, regulation. I, I, I have read those things, yeah. you know. So. But they they want to make sure everybody yeah. does it. Okay. So. All right. And also, this would also go to the uh, horse racing industry as well. Oh, okay. Um, over in Illinois, we just uh, had Governor uh, J. B. Pritzker sign into law the new progressive sports betting tax rates uh which is an in- increasing tax rate the more revenue you bring in okay for your different sports books also but it's going online and retail everybody's been rehashing this okay. you know it starts at 20 goes up to 40 percent depending on how much revenue you bring in okay uh, for your operations uh one other uh part of illinois that uh, kind of was interesting the illinois general assembly adjourned for the summer without a bill that created an extension to allow retail sports books to allow sports betting on local schools, in-state schools. Hmm. Okay. Yep. They are no longer, by uh, July 1st, they will no longer be allowed to offer pregame money line, point spreads, and total wagers for college sports that are uh, done in in state college sports. Now, was that done on purpose, or was they just that, they just didn't? It's hard didn't to believe they it. overlooked. I it. would assume uh, that was done on you know, purpose. It's like, so. uh, let's hurry up and get out of here so we don't have to deal with that issue. Is that the kind of thing that was going on? Well, what? right now, the earliest uh, this can be reinstated would be in the fall, and it'd be a, have to be a veto session. Okay, but right now the law is on the books that this will stop. Uh, college sports betting, basically in-state college sports betting. You mean universities and colleges that in, are located in within the, in the in state Illinois. of Illinois? Yeah. Now, now those wagers had been allowed for New two, Jersey has that too. Yeah, so. but new, but they've been allowed for two yeah. plus years right. up until July July first okay. of this year. So, uh, you know, there was a bill introduced, but it just never made it to the floor. Okay, which uh, I guess they're trying to send a message to something. I don't know. Uh, so, uh, we'll see exactly where in-state college sports betting goes from there. In I think that Illinois. was one of those, let's intentionally do nothing. So Yeah, let's leave it for another time. <laughs> let's, let's get out of here. Yeah. So, uh, but uh, we'll see where that goes. And uh, that's it for this week's Turnpike Sports Book Report. Press releases, info at turnpikesportsradio.com. Keep those coming in. Uh, if you've been watching on TV, the ticker has been flying by below us with additional news stories we didn't have a chance to talk about in this half hour and as always when this show is released you will see a full print version of the turnpike sports book report on our blog turnpikesports.us click on the blog button there'll be a full print version there which has these stories we talked about on air some of the ticker stories and also additional stories we didn't have a chance to talk about in either place so please uh, head on over there when you get a chance and take a look at it and that'll do it for us this week we'll see you next time on the turnpike